Fatwood, a camper's best friend. <laughs> What's up guys, Dan here, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. That's right, today we're gonna to be talking about fatwood and how it, maybe it's not your best friend, but it definitely should be a friend for all your other fire starting devices in your kit. Like it should be in that little bag of friends of fire starting, um, because it's definitely a very useful tool. Now if you don't know what fatwood is, some people call it pitch wood, other people call it fatwood. I, there's like a million names, I hear all kind of stuff when it comes to different names for it. Basically, it is wood from an evergreen tree that the sap has impregnated itself into, okay? So it, the wood sucks up all the sap and boom, you have this thing we call fat wood. Now I put a description in the link below. I have an old video from a long time ago that I go into way more detail about it. But if you, so if you don't know what it is, check out that video. If you do know what it is, you're probably thinking, oh, okay, well I just, you scrape fat wood, okay? So what you do is you take a knife or you take the backside of a multi-tool saw and then you take out of your pocket your piece of fat wood and you use the back side of that blade and you scrape it making scrapings. Those scrapings ignite very easily with a ferrocerium rod or an open flame source and they actually burn a really long time. But here's the thing, that is part one of two that you need to be completing and most people stop at that part one. There's actually two parts to properly preparing fat wood as a fire starter and that's what we're gonna show you today. It's easy, it's simple and it's effective. So with all that said, let's show you how to make scrapings and then we'll show you part two. All right, so with your piece of fat wood, you're gonna use a sharp spine like I said and then you're gonna to start to create scrapings. You're gonna do this literally just by pushing that down and creating scrapings of the fat wood there, okay? Now, as you see, with just a little bit of work, I'm making a reasonably sized pile. One of the biggest downfalls I see with individuals making this pile is that, number one, they're just not putting enough pressure between their knife and the fat wood itself. So they're getting like almost nothing off of this, okay? So you really, you gotta, I mean, you gotta dig in. You gotta give it a little bit and you gotta make some shavings. Right, now, once your pile is created, okay, what you might think right away is I need to make a huge, huge pile of this. All right, the reality is though, this will light very quickly. Now, of course, the bigger the pile, the longer it's gonna burn, but here is trick number two. Once you're done your scrapings, you're gonna make shavings. Scrapings and shavings combined is the ultimate goal here. So all we're gonna do now is rather than using the backside of our knife, we're gonna turn to the blade right here, and then I'm just going to literally cut slivers of fat wood off all different sizes, different lengths, whatever wants to come off of there, I'm gonna cut off. This stuff is like fire magic. And remember, we're gonna have a nice open flame source here. So even if it is a little bit bigger, like this piece right here, it's gonna burn, it's gonna light. Don't worry about it, all right? Now, you don't wanna pile too much on top, all right? So some of that stuff could lay off to the side. You can then feed it in as needed. So, gonna make a couple shavings, okay? Now, with very quick work, just like that, I made, a very, very intense fire starter here, okay? This is gonna ignite, it's gonna catch this, and it's gonna be a nice long burn time. Way longer than this, those shavings, and a lot easier, because you don't have to keep struggling to make them shavings if they cause you difficulty. All right, so let's light this thing up with our ferro serum rod. So our scrapings is what's gonna ignite first. Smaller, fluffier material, and that'll get our bigger stuff burning. So you can see, just nice and easy. And then if I need to, I could start to just feed this in over the top, just like that. As that stuff starts to burn, the inferno is gonna begin to rage, and that is gonna burn super long, and now I could start to build my fire from here. 
And there you go, that is why fatwood is such a great fire starter and that is the complete process you should be following when using it. Now when you go out and you train, scrapings is fine just to dial in your skill set, but when you're really out there and you're making a fire and you gotta get it going, scrapings and shavings combined is gonna make that inferno just blaze that much better and that much longer. So definitely add this trick to your arsenal. Trick to your arsenal, tool for the toolbox, right? Ah, I'm, I'm losing my mind. But um, while I'm losing my mind, you click like and subscribe down below. Also, you can check out that old fatwood video where I'm all plumped up, thick, all bulked up. I got a salmon colored shirt on, people make fun of, it's great, but there's a lot of good information in it. And then um, also check us out over coldcrackerbushcraft.com for all our merchandise and our classes. And uh, until the next video, stay lit and stay in the woods.